We're going to talk about eyeliner, but eyeliner on eyes that aren't naturally meant for it. And what I mean by that is eyeliner is designed to lift your eyes, give you that beautiful, sexy cat eye that we all want. The problem is that eyeliner doesn't always suit rounded eye shapes. The reason for that is if you put an eyeliner on a rounded eye shape, you're actually enhancing the roundness and what comes up must come down. So you actually will create the, a droop in the eye. Plus, if you look down and do the most perfect of eyeliners and do the most perfect flick, look straight ahead, I'll guarantee all you get left with is this little flick on the end. The reason eyeliner works so beautifully on armoured eyes or Asian eye shapes is the top eye is more straight. So you get a beautiful flick and a beautiful lift to the eye. So I'm going to show you now how to do eyeliner on eyes that are more rounded. I'm going to add one more difficulty factor into this situation and that's when you have an eye fold, this crease right here. The problem with this crease, that if you do eyeliner while you're looking down, and then you open your eye, that fold removes the flick. So it's, you pretty much are erasing it. So I'm gonna do this eyeliner with your eyes looking straight ahead. But here are the rules. When you do eyeliner, you have to know where your eyelid peaks. So where is the highest part of your eyelid? So on her eyes, it's kind of, I'd say in the middle, but slightly to the center. So she's got that beautiful 40s eye shape. So wherever the eyelid peaks, from there in, your eyeliner has to be as fine as possible. From your highest point out is where you get your lift. And here it gets a little bit tricky. To make eyeliner lift, just make sure that where your flick ends, the height of the flick is parallel, or as close to be, parallel to where your eyelid peaks. So what I mean is if your flick of your eyeliner drops below the height of your eyelid, you'll have a droop. So it's really important to make sure that your end flick is the same height. And that's why we're going to start with the end flick first. So now I'm going to show you in more detail how to achieve this look. Firstly, imagine a line from the corner of your nose to the corner of your eye and out. And that's a nice angle to have your eyeliner sit. However, if your eyes are slightly close together, you can drop the eye line down. That will give your eyes more width. What not to do is don't ever have an eyeliner that comes in because it will cut your eyes off. Actually make your eyes look really small and really close together. So, I'm going to turn your head to the side. Now, a lot of people can do eyeliner freehand. A lot of people can't. I'm going to show you a really easy trick. A lot of you have seen the eyeliner tape before, but I'm going to make this a little bit more special. So, corner of the nose, corner of the eye, and out, pop a little bit of tape on the outer corner. Make sure it's not too sticky. You don't want to remove your skin. And if you're new to this, I recommend trying it with an eyeshadow first, just to get your stencil. With the eye looking straight ahead, highest point of your eye, imagine a line all the way across and you're going to start your eyeliner there. And what you're going to do, surprisingly, is you're going to go over that fold of skin. You're allowed to blink if you like. I'm going over the fold of skin. And then I'm just going to take this eyeliner and stop it just before the eyelid peaks. I'm just creating a stencil. You can go back and put liquid eyeliner, gel eyeliner on top of this. But this is to help get you the perfect angle. Lightly pull off the tape and there's your beautiful point. If you struggle to get that point so perfect, Take an angle brush with foundation and use a scissor effect where you come underneath just like that with a hint of foundation and what it will do, it will give you like a millimetre more tip and make that point so perfect. Okay, so now what you'll notice if you look down, you'll notice this really odd little square shape. That's because I've gone over a fold of skin. You don't get that square shape if you don't have that fold, but if you have a fold, you'll get it. Really simple. From this little corner here, you're now going to just take that line straight down to the point just before your eyelid peaks. And remember, it's not about 
the shape when you look down, it's about how beautiful your eyeliner looks when you look straight ahead. So now, when you look straight ahead into your mirror at home, what you get is an eyeliner that lifts your eye. And then from here, what we're going to do is make the eyeliner as close to the lash line as possible. Look down and across here. Again, I'm just doing this with eyeshadow just to get my stencil. If you're confident, sure, go straight in with gel or liquid. I prefer gels because I find some liquids can crack. Gels give you a little bit of flexibility. You can move them around on the eye and then once they dry, they don't move. I'm going to show you another little trick as well. So when you look straight ahead, I'm now picking up a bent angle brush. And this is another great trick to not only lift your eyes but to make them look bigger, all with eyeliner. You're going to extend this line here ever so slightly. The reason for this bent brush is that you can just rest your hands and pivot if you want to do an underline as well. Now if you want to get that line even more perfect, take an angle brush with foundation that matches your skin tone and then just come underneath it and you'll get this beautiful finish. And that's a beautiful way to extend your eyeliner. So now, once you're happy with the shape, I recommend doing the other eye first with eyeshadow to make sure you're even, because that is the hardest part of eyeliner. And once you've got them both even, then you can go in with your liquid. So now I have my stencil. It's really, really simple. Check that they're even. And now just paint them with either a liquid eyeliner or what I prefer, a gel eyeliner. Just one thing though to take note, the reason this eye line is quite thick, it needs to be to lift the eye. Because the more rounded you are, the lower your eye drops down, the higher your kick has to be to give you a lift. Because this is quite a strong eyeliner, I'm using a deluxe eyeliner brush. Don't use a thin eyeliner brush when you want a thick line, you'll be there for days. Look straight ahead for me. If you're not confident, you can still keep the tape on when you're doing this part, so your stencil is always there. And what's really important is you get it right into your lash line. Have a blink and look down. And you notice I'm getting her to stretch her eyelids. It's really important when you do your eyeliner, so don't ever close your eyes, because if you close your eyes, the skin is very loose and it's like trying to do eyeliner, on a sultana. Again, to perfect that point, foundation on an angle brush. And you can see by just coming underneath your line, I'm going to make it a bit lighter so you can see the technique. You can really, really sharpen that point. Look down. Another tip with eyeliner, make sure you don't have oil on your eyelids because oil can remove eyeliner and you end up with this big messiness on your eyelid. So this could also be a good time to get a cotton bud or a little baby wipe and just clean this area. Another tip, lightly powder your eyelid. So I'm just finishing up this eye. So just remember to recap, if you're doing this yourself at home, look straight ahead into the mirror, put your stencil on, but then to do your lash line, look down. You look down, but you tilt your head right back with either a mirror in front of you or a mirror down low. That way you get that beautiful slide on your eyelid. Wait for it to dry before you look straight ahead so you don't get the marks on your eyelid. And that's how I like to do an eyeliner on a rounded eye.